Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Viewer Questions. We have a question today from X Gamers Review. Uh, he's asking a question about making a fake chat program. He wants to move the text from one text box into another text box on screen and then delete the original text. Uh, this is very similar to something I made when I was in college. Um, it's a very good starting program because it, it's something that yields quick results. Um, I'm happy to elaborate on that question slightly uh, and I'm going to create a couple of videos for you. The first one will answer your question directly and the second one will go in on how you can actually expand this into a working chat program that you could use with a friend or two over a network share. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a new project. I'm going to create a Windows Forms application. I'm going to call this chat. We're going to start by setting up some user interface. So we're going to need a couple of text boxes. So let's just drag those out onto here. So the first one is going to be the one that holds the chat window. We're going to need to make this one a multi line one. And we'll drag that out to the edge like so. And the second one is going to be the one that the user types into. So just drag that one here make it almost as wide as the box and leave space for a button and then we'll drag the button out and make that the same size and we'll just make that say send change its text value to send so this one we're gonna set to disabled so that the user can't type into it and then we're just going to name everything. So we'll name this first one TXT chat window. And this one TXT message. And we'll name this one BTN send. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on BTN send. And we're going to say if. Well, I'll just run you through what we're going to do first, actually. So, so what we need to do here is take the text that's being typed in to txt message and add it as a new line to txt chat window. Uh, before we do that, we want to check that um, the value in the txt chat box is actually uh, not blank. So we're going to say if txt message.text um, is not nothing and then if it's if it's not nothing we're going to say txt chat window dot text plus equals and then we're going to say the value of the text message box so message.text plus environment dot new line and what that'll do is it will add the message each time if the message is not null or not empty and then at the end it'll append a new line ready for the next message and finally what we need to do here is say txt message dot text equals nothing and I think actually just to make it look a bit cooler we will also add in here date time dot now dot to string and we'll just we'll, we'll just format that date string to just show the time so hour hour minute minute second second and we'll just pop one string in the middle here with a colon and then we'll hit start so if I type in here hello everyone the send button you see that it pops in at the top here and I can also type another message like so and click send and you see that that pops in as well so that's how you would make a fake chat app in the next video we're gonna cover making this work over a network share so you and your friend for instance could open up this app on two different computers and actually share a chat window I'll see you in the next one Oh, <laughs>